intro video was done two days ago now we are at the exhibition ground and I'm about to take you guys in I don't want to talk too much let's try Hi, I'm Nieta Momo. I'm the co founder of Kenti and Silk, and I'm ecstatic. Today is the launch of Beijing Africa Week, and what a way to launch! I'm in the art exhibition for Waldo Afuki, and it is phenomenal um, to be amongst this work of such a legend from Eritrea. It's just super inspiring. I'm someone that loves colours, as you can see from my outfit, and it really epitomises what Africa Week is about. And it's all about sharing the diversity, the richness, the beauty of our culture. So I'm so thrilled to have the honour to work with him and his family on this exhibition.
Yeah, like the culture, the things in general, the hair style and the dressing mm -hmm. and the languages. And my impression is that these paintings are very traditional. As African as we are, it's very important for us to be able to have some of these pictures to portray our lifestyle. I've seen Eritrean traditional paintings that portrays nine ethnic groups in Eritrea and they are represented by women. That shows that um, the mothers who are the source of production are very important. As I stand over here, uh, my favorite painting would be this. You can get a closer look at this. Now this is weird because there are very beautiful paintings over here that are more appealing and more colorful. But I chose this because I think that this reflects real life. I don't have to explain the picture, but this could be either way. Somebody who has lived a life that at the end of the day needs to get help from other people. We all need help sometimes. And on the other hand, when you plan very well, you can be able to extend that help to other people. It just tells us that giving is just as good as taking back. Being blessed could come from giving and could also come from receiving. Bless up. This is an art exhibition and it's been organized by an African. The paintings are amazing. Now, this is one of my favorite paintings up here. What it uh, represents to me is that uh, I can see the feathers of a uh, peacock. And to me, peacock represents respect. P peacock demands respect. Wherever, that's why when you go to Cain's Palace and uh, all those places, uh, they demand respect. You find all those things there. So, me seeing this thing around, it means that this person in here is about to step into the world and he needs his respect, regardless of how the situation goes. The environment that he or she finds himself is coming. That is the message that I'm getting. He's coming, and as he's coming, he's coming for his respect, regardless. I'm in, and I'm here for my respect, and you need to give respect. Respect comes first in everything. Stop. Um, when I first saw this painting, I was thinking about the relationship between a mother and child. How close a girl is to the mom when they're doing their hair, cooking, and everything. And talk about it. But I came to read this and it said, Gossip Factory. Gossip Factory. And it brought my attention to how we have characterized the salons in our various communities as where you get the latest use in the country. So you do your hair and you talk about all kinds of stuff. It's just interesting. This is, this is called Litanet. In Eritrea, some ethnic groups like Tigre, Belen, and Hidara, the women, when they are uh, getting married, they take this back to their uh, new home where they live with their husbands. But they make this, it's a decoration, it's like a wall uh, carpet. It's also considered as, uh, as property because it takes a long time for them to make it and also it's a lot of money because you can see the uh, shells. And